Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to walk through my favorite Hobonichi products and planners that I've used over the last couple years and kind of tell you how I've been currently using them and why I love them and why most of these items will be repeat purchases for 2021. The first one I want to talk about is probably the one I talk about the most, and this is the Hobonichi Cousin. This is an A5 size style planner that I absolutely love, and this is sort of the big enchilada when it comes to Hobonichi. You get your month on two page spread, you get your vertical weekly spreads that are Monday start, and in the back you have daily pages as well so you get a page per day including the weekends which has a time section plenty of room for notes and a five checkbox up here at the top the cousin only comes in a japanese version so you'll notice on the daily pages that there were some quotes and these do not come translated you also have a variety of colors in the Japanese version so every month has a little bit of a different color theme and the grid and all of the text are in this color and that switches every single month within the Hobonichi Cousin. Some people really hate that. I have definitely learned to love that but I have a full year cousin. It was a January start so you get all the monthlies, weeklies, and 366 dailies because it was a leap year this year but it all fits in this nice compound book and I absolutely love this. This has become my archive. It is a both a planner along with a memory keeper for me so I do sort of memory highlight of the day in the monthlies. In the weekly section I will plan out my week along with backfilling in memories and I have no reservation using tons of character stickers within the weekly spreads and my dailies work as sort of a mix or a hybrid between archiving things that I would collect or index from within like a bullet journal if you're familiar with that terminology along with being a daily journal diary planner. I do a lot of writing in this planner and I find that the dailies some of them get left blank some of them get used until they are totally full and I don't think I ever use each day exactly the same way. There's always a little bit of variance but this is a planner that I absolutely love and it is a great way to take your entire year and get it into a single book that fits on your shelf relatively nicely so I will definitely be picking one up for 2021 because I have yet to find a planner where I can get everything in one place so neatly the next planner I'm going to talk about is probably one of the more popular Hobonichi products. This is the Hobonichi Weeks. This is a vertical weekly planner. I will show you a blank one here. So it is a Monday start. You get a space per every day of the week along with a blank grid page on the side. I typically opt for Weeks Mega, which means there are about 200 grid notes pages in the back of this planner. A traditional Hobonichi Weeks only has 41 additional notes pages if I remember correctly and this is a planner I go back and forth on but the reason I wanted to talk about this is if I could go back in time this is the planner I would really love to have if I was a college student. I found in school that my primary you know, thing that I was trying to keep track of is when my assignments were due which would fit really well over here and then I'd have plenty of room for a running to-do list that were related to say school assignments and if you needed to do some personal to-do lists you would have room in the back. Over the last couple of years I have used this as sort of like a line a day journal within the weekly portion and in the back here I do a lot of like spiritual prayer journaling along with sermon notes when we are going to church and things and this has been a really great size to be able to do that. It is fairly small and compact, fits in most bags relatively well, and I think it's a planner that I think all of us love to hate. I struggle with the horizontal layout to use this as a true planner, but as any sort of like quick line of day or if you just needed to keep track of due dates, I think that this would be a really good option. The next Hobonichi product I want to talk about is my five-year journal. I don't talk about this one too much online because there's really not a whole lot to say, but Hobonichi does do a five-year journal and it is something that I've really enjoyed using over the last few years. You get a section to write in every 
day of the year for five years, but the me real reason I have stuck with this planner for so long is because it is dated. I need the little bit of added pressure of a dated planner to actually go in and fill these in every day. You do have a nice grid space on the next page if you wanted to do some, I've seen people do like gratitude journaling or um, any sort of highlights or memories or photos. I typically have left mine blank. I might start filling it in as we go through, but for now, this is working out really well. I've kept up with it pretty consistently. And the reason I love Hobonichi's version of this is primarily because it's dated, but it also lies completely flat, more or less, wherever you open it. And that is one thing I love about Hobonichi products is they're very easy to use because the pages actually lie flat. I do have this in a Hobonichi brand cover because the five-year journal is a little bit of an odd size, but I am working through my second year of this and would highly recommend if you're looking for a five-year journal. I do want to briefly talk about the Hobonichi Techo, which is the A6 size planner that they offer. This is my first year using an A6 Hobonichi, and I have been using this for work. It is a daily planner, so you get a day per page. It's very similar to the Hobonichi Cousin. You get your schedule, open grid, and then five to-dos up at the top. You also have monthly spreads within this planner, so you get a month on two page grid view, but there are no weeklies that come with this particular planner. If you are looking for a journal or a daily planner just to like get some thoughts out on paper and organize them. I really love this one mostly because of the size. Again, you get all 365 days along with your monthly and this is very manageable. I prefer to plan for work on a daily basis because the majority of my work is handled digitally and I didn't want to overly duplicate. So this one works out really well, but I think if you're looking for a daily journal and didn't want to be overwhelmed with the amount of space to fill in, this could be a really good option as well. The last couple things I wanted to talk about are some accessories. So this is a Hobonichi brand photo album. They are A6 sides, they are top loading, and I use these in various different ways, primarily sticker storage over the years, but I am always finding a new way to utilize one of these, particularly when I am traveling. I love the clear sleeves, so it's really easy to see what you've put in there. The top loading makes easy access if you are gonna use these for sticker storage. And every time I order directly from Hobonichi or Jet Pens, I will typically throw one of these in my cart as well because I'm always finding new uses for them and they do hold up pretty well. I have used these for sticker storage for the last couple years and they will sort of uh, start to show their age up here at the top because I place these within an A6 traveler's notebook so I can have multiple books within one binding but overall these have held up really well for the price point and I would definitely recommend them. The last most underrated tool I probably have from Hobonichi is this stencil right here. I believe it is sized to fit particularly within the Hobonichi weeks but this has got to be the most like used tool that I have purchased from Hobonichi in a long time. It has a square, a circle, and a triangle little stencil there and I use those constantly along with just using this as a straight edge. I typically keep this tucked into the back pocket of my ring planner because I like to have a straight edge when I draw straight lines, but I love adding the circle and the square check marks for various tasks throughout my planner, and I definitely am going to pick up another one of these for 2021 because of how often I reach for it. All right, so one final tool I wanted to talk about is the pencil board. So this is the one from my Hobonichi cousin. So this is the A5 size. If you're not familiar with the pencil board, it is a relatively flexible piece of plastic that you put behind the page that you are currently writing on. And it makes my writing experience on the Tomoe River paper much, much nicer. I find that my pens don't skip very often when I'm using the, the pencil board, it keeps the page smooth 
And the Tomoe River paper is fantastic for a lot of different pens, but it also is extremely thin. So if you don't use the pencil board and you were to use, say, like a UniJet Stream ballpoint pen, you will typically feel the ridging of the writing on the page behind. Using the pencil board keeps the paper smooth and keeps the ridging down to a minimum. I know some people really enjoy the ridging of the Tomoe River paper, but I'm not one of those uh, people. I prefer to have the paper feel a little bit smoother longer if I can manage it. So if you are struggling with a pen skipping in your Hobonichi, I would definitely recommend picking up a pencil board. You may find you have a better experience, but at this point I always use a pencil board and I feel weird if I don't use one actually. So would definitely recommend picking one up and they do last quite some time. I think they come out with a new design every year. I will typically pick it up if I'm obsessed with the color but otherwise it is one of those items where you really only need one and you can continue to use it for years to come. So as you can see I definitely have a lot of Hobonichi products within my lineup and I've used these for a couple years now. I find that the quality is is there. These planners last the entire year and a little bit beyond and I use these religiously every day. They definitely get plenty of love and use within my daily planning and journaling routines but hopefully that was helpful for you guys to see which products I really love from Hobonichi. If you are going to use a Hobonichi for 2021 let me know what that is in the comments down below. If you have stuck around this long, thank you for watching guys and I will catch you next time.